So I want to talk about the first 30 days after a breakup and why it's very critical in how you respond and how you handle yourself. As a guy, it's not easy to deal with rejection, especially if the girl we loved dumped us, moved on and said, don't contact me anymore. It's heartbreaking. It's devastating because we've invested all this time. We've got to know the person. We built a connection and we think, okay, this person is the one I want to be with. And all of a sudden she breaks up with you and how you respond is very critical. Now, I want to say this first, get your tears out of the way. Spend a week by yourself, you know, watch movies if you need to, you know, get time for you to just process it, evaluate and get all that negative stuff out because you're going to go through it. You're going to hurt. You're going to go through pain. It's going to be hard to deal with that first because it's devastating because this person was someone you cared about and now they're pushing you away. And as a man, we don't like that because we like building things and when we have to restart and start from the beginning, it's hard because we've put in all this work. That's how we interpret it. So I would say for the first week, make sure you're getting those hard things out the way. You know, cry about it, process it. If you need to talk to a friend to get support, make sure you're doing that. Or if you need to seek, you know, a counselor, whatever it may be, make sure you're doing that right away. And then after that's done, go out and live your life. Hang out with your friends. Spend time with your family. Do not isolate yourself. This is very important because if you get in a habit of, you know, being by yourself, you're not hanging out with your friends, you're not spending time with family, you're not doing the normal things of life, you're going to fall into depression, you're going to be victimizing yourself, and you're going to prolong this breakup process. You have to understand that your life is important. You've got value, people still care about you, you just have to get out of your own head. Another thing that's important is don't pay attention to her. And what do I mean by that? Don't go on social media, checking up on her Instagram stories or Snapchat or looking at her posts on Facebook separate yourself. I'm not saying you have to unfriend her or anything. Don't do that because it just creates more awkwardness. Just stay away. Don't give any energy to her because you're already going to be thinking about her. That's normal. Everybody, you know, if you say like, you never think about your ex, that's unrealistic. You know, I thought about my ex as I was going through the breakup process and I moved on, you know, I got married a year later and found somebody better for me, but I still had to go through a process. And for you guys out there, make sure you're not isolating yourself. If you are doing that, you put yourself in positions like this, where you're constantly looking at her pictures. You're like, oh, she's with another guy now. She's hanging around friends. I wonder if she's meeting somebody. You start getting your own head and that's not good. It's not a good place to be. So instead of paying attention to that, when you're home, make sure you're working on things you care about, like your goals. Go to the gym, focus on activities you care about, maybe like hiking, or maybe you like uh, programming or you know, working on YouTube or podcasting, make sure you are intentional with your time. See, what I did is when I was going through my breakup is I would write things down I wanted to get done. I would work on a blog and podcasting at the same time. This before I did YouTube and I would just stay very focused. I worked on a book. I did all these things to stay occupied. Even though I was going through hurt, I was staying busy and also I was hanging out with friends. You know, if there was anything going on, I would make sure I was there because I shouldn't isolate myself. I was living on my own and I had to make sure that I need to recover, right? But I also need to spend time with friends and also family. So if you find yourself isolated, don't stay there. Make sure you're very intentional because if you're in this isolated position, well, now you have this time available to go see what she's doing when you should be working on you. And another thing is I would look at YouTube videos that can help you get over your ex. There's some great um, content out there which can help you move on from it. Because again, you're not going to just heal from it right away. That's not realistic. But that's why I think the first 30 days are critical. Because if you're spending so much of your time thinking about it and wondering what she's up to, and if you're asking her friends how she's doing, that's not good. You want to make sure that you're moving on. Also, if she, if you have friends that are her friends, be careful with that. I'm not sure you don't have to talk about it, but don't ask how she's doing. You know, I had a friend like that where he was close to her. We just didn't talk about it all the time. We were very careful and we were very ten intentional about that because we have our own friendship. Understand that every relationship needs to be exclusive. As you're moving forward, don't bring it up all the time when you're hanging out with friends or family. They don't need to hear about your drama. I'm not saying you shouldn't express, you know, what you're dealing with, but make sure you don't spend too much time on that because you should be having time where you're having fun, where you're enjoying the time with friends and family and not, you know, letting her live rent free in your head. Just don't do that to yourself. So when you're going through this process and as you're healing, you're getting stronger, the first three days, it's going to be tough. But if you do things correctly, if you're staying busy, if you're working on your goals, if you're intentional with your time, and when you come home after your nine to five and you're home by yourself, be intentional with those hours. Write stuff down, write them down. If you need to process things, process it. And be okay with just being by yourself. It's okay. You're going to find somebody for you. Also, another thing is I would just talk to women. You don't have to get in a relationship, but just be casual. 
know, go out there and just, you know, talk to different women, build connections, establish relationships. And you don't have to get in an actual relationship. You can just have those conversations. And as you're healing, you're going to feel better because it's going to be a positive experience for you. You're going to feel better about yourself. And as you continue to move on, time does heal all wounds. That's why I think the first 30 days are very important with how you respond, how you handle yourself, because breakups are not easy to deal with. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Make sure you go check out my other video where I talk about how to raise your value so you can increase a woman's attraction. Love to hear your thoughts on how you're handling the early stages of your breakup. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.